Everyday Promises, February 5th, A New Rock Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Romans 9.33 In Exodus chapter 17, verses 1 to 7, we read that the people of Israel contented with Moses, saying, Give us water to drink. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So God told Moses to strike the rock in Horeb. Moses struck the rock and the water came out and the people drank. Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 10, 4 that the rock that followed these lights was Christ. Dear friends, Jesus Christ is the rock of ages, but for us, the New Testament believers, the moment we accept Christ into our lives, He becomes a new rock of salvation. Yes, make Him your rock, and you will never stumble and fall. For all the other ground is sinking sand. Have you ever stood on a rock? It's very firm, right? No need to worry that you would stumble and fall as long as you stand on a rock. In my village, there are many huge rocks. As a small girl, I loved climbing over rocks. I used to sit and play on a rock, study there, eat my food, and even lie down and sleep on it at times. As long as I sat or stood on a rock, I had no fear or worry. I felt safe and secure, for the rock is a sure foundation. No wonder Jesus said, On this rock I will build my church. Matthew 16, 18 A church built on Christ the rock will never wobble or fall. In Psalm 40, verse 2, David says, He has set my feet upon a rock. This is exactly what our Papa in heaven did for each of us. Shall we thank God for the firm rock on which we stand? Abba Father, I thank you for establishing my steps and setting my feet upon Christ the rock. Father, I pray when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Verse for the day. The Lord is my rock and my deliverer and my fortress, in whom I will trust. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 2.